My name's Kate. I am a mother of two, and I was diagnosed with lupus when I was 17 years old. I think that the biggest concern that I had deciding whether to have children or not was how likely was it that I was going to pass on lupus to my kids and what was the effect of my medications. I don't think there's that much information or advice for women out there on the same medications that I'm on or the same history of disease. There are multiple challenges for women living with a chronic disease and thinking about pregnancy. One is the fact that there is very little research done on pregnant and breastfeeding women, so they're often having to make decisions without the available information. They don't know where to go to get the information. Um, they don't know which doctors to ask. And there are big decisions to be made, and they often feel scared, apprehensive, and they need guidance. I'm very lucky to be part of Bridge, which is a group of multidisciplinary independent experts whose quest is to improve the database for women living with chronic medical diseases who are thinking of having a family and want more information about medications in pregnancy and breastfeeding. It was traditionally thought that it's ethically wrong to recruit pregnant women into research studies. That is wrong. It is ethically wrong not to recruit them, to disadvantage pregnant women, so they then have to make a decision for this essential drug, should they continue it or not in pregnancy, based on no data. We don't protect women from research, we protect women through research. Information is power. For the past decade, UCB has been at the forefront providing high quality data for women of childbearing age with chronic diseases. Our pioneering research in chronic inflammatory diseases during pregnancy and breastfeeding has paved the way for comprehensive evidence-based care. Our program focuses on providing women living with chronic diseases with robust data to make better informed decisions about their health especially when it relates to family planning, pregnancy and breastfeeding. Our clinical trial protocols template allow women who become pregnant during trials to remain in the studies. Also, in collaboration with women and patient experts, we have operationalized a remote enrollment model to reduce the burden of clinical studies. I believe we need to advocate for policies that mandate the inclusion of women of Charbet engaged in clinical research and ensure their specific health data collection. But we recognize that we can't do this alone. Collaboration is key. That's why we're partnering with patients, scientific communities, regulators, and policymakers to drive meaningful changes in women's health care. It's not acceptable that women of Charbet engaged living with chronic diseases must navigate their reproductive journey without medical evidence to guide them. In a recent report, Bridge highlighted the need for a changing paradigm from a mindset of fear and exclusion from research to one of awareness and empowerment. By advancing clinical research, we can ensure that these women receive the informed care they need and deserve. Together, we can create a future where every woman and child can live their best lives. I had amazing clinicians that I had trust in. If I didn't have those clinicians, I think it would have been absolutely terrifying and I'm not sure I would have made the decisions I did. There's very little information for people with lupus and anything that allows more information so people can be better informed in the future, I'm, I'm for. But if hundreds of women that live through the same experiences shared the information, I think it would equip women with much more to be able to you know, face the uncertainty.